Hi everyone, out here in the strawberry patch today and there's a ton of runners just going everywhere. So today I want to show you how to root your strawberry runners so you can get free plants and have a lot more strawberries to eat. I'm very excited to have expanded my strawberry patch this year. All of these plants here were produced from runners from this container. Now strawberries are a perennial, which means they come back year after year. However, they only produce well for about three to four years, and then you need new plants to keep on producing your berries. So that's why you wanna root your runners for lots of free plants. First off, let me show you what a runner is. It's pretty cool what these plants can do. A runner is a stem that comes off from the mother plant. There's a ton here on this wall. It shoots out and then it just keeps on growing. And what you can do is actually root the node here and it makes a brand new plant. I'm gonna root the runners both in a container and in the soil to really expand my strawberry patch here. And this is what I'm using. I've got some bobby pins, landscape staples, a small one gallon container filled with soil, and of course, the star of the show, the strawberry runners. So super easy to root in a container. All you have to do is Put your little uh, leaf node here, and this is where the roots are gonna grow out. There's a small little bump there. So you wanna put that in direct contact with the soil. I'm just gonna stick it right here in my container. It's staying attached to the mother plant at this point. And I'm using a bobby pin to secure the runner into the pot. Just gonna kinda pull the bobby pin apart slightly. Stick it in there so the runner uh, maintains good contact with the soil push it down just a little bit. And then this runner actually has a couple different leaf nodes on it. So I'm leaving it attached here because it does get energy from the mother plant to develop the roots. So the runners are attached to each other. They're also attached to the mother plant. Secure the second one with a bobby pin. And this is kind of cool because you can, once the runners root, you can move it to another location in the garden or you can transplant it into another container. Got three strawberry runners rooted in here. Keep the soil moist while the roots are getting established. They'll turn into three new plants. The cool thing is strawberries are very easy to transplant just about anywhere in your garden. And if you don't want to root them in a container, they're super easy to root right in place, right in your raised beds. So all you need to do for this is pretty much the same method, is you find a runner and a good little leaf node now this one already has some roots that are starting to grow out from this little node. And then you just pop that node right into the soil, right in your raised bed. And to hold these in place, I like to use something a little bit sturdier, like a landscape staple. Works a little bit better in the soil of a raised bed, but use whatever you can find on hand. You can even just bend a piece of wire and hold it in place. As long as the root, the roof, the leaf node has good contact with the soil, you're all good to go. And th these plants are just producing runners like crazy right now. Now, if you do want to grow the plants with the strawberries, you'll, ha you'll wanna trim the runners and save rooting the runners for another time in the season once your strawberry plants are done producing. But I'm really trying to expand my strawberry patch right now. So I'm rooting them now. So I have additional plants that will produce for me later in the season. How do you know when your strawberry runners are ready to be an independent plant from the mother? It usually takes a couple of weeks for the roots to take hold. And what you wanna do is grab your little runner and once the roots take hold, there's gonna be a little bit of resistance when you pull. See how this one comes up real easily? If they're established, you're not gonna be able to pull it up quite as easily. Then at that point, you can snip the runner and disconnect it from the mother plant either leave it in your container or transplant it somewhere else in your garden. There are runners just going everywhere through this area here and you can literally create hundreds of free new plants with this method and save yourself a ton of money. The only problem with having a big strawberry patch is the bunnies and the squirrels like to eat the berries just as much as we do. And I want to keep the critters away from my strawberry patch. Now, Bonite and I are working together on this one. They've got a great product called Repels All Animal Repellent. It contains garlic oil and clove and comes in a granule and in a spray, so it makes it really easy to apply. And what you do is you just sprinkle it around to create a protective barrier around the plants. And it doesn't harm the animals but it does trigger their natural instinct to avoid the area because they smell the garlic oil and the clove. So you sprinkle it around your plants, not directly on the berries. Just create a nice little protective barrier to keep them away. And then what I also like to do for a two-pronged approach is use the spray. I'm gonna spray it here on the wall. 
And they just smell this and then they go somewhere else and leave the berries alone. It lasts up to two months and once it dries, it won't wash off, it's still effective, but you do need to reapply it after a heavy rain. Let me know in the comments if after watching this video, you're gonna be rooting your strawberry runner so you have lots more free plants. I know you're gonna absolutely love using this simple method. Head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com, grab your garden supplies, and while you're there, check out our Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim subscription box contains everything you need each month for a garden project shipped right to your door and you get seven dollars off your first month with the code late summer garden thanks so much for watching we'll see you on the next video